Today is going in as a special contributor. You very well, after research, could have gone in as an athlete, could have gone in as a coach. I'm talking about Ron Doc Smith. He was a 38 graduate of Galesburg High School. He played football, basketball, and track. Um, the football team. Uh, I know the last two seasons he played, they were five and two, and then they were six, or five and one, and then they were six and zero. Oh his senior year, the basketball team was seven and five, and then they were eleven and two, and then his senior year, they were sixteen and zero oh, regular season. They won the first district game, and then they lost in the district finals to St. Augustine, uh, and St. Augustine went on to win the state championship that year. Doc then enrolled at Kalamazoo College. He played four years on the varsity football team, starting out as a fullback, ended up as an end. He was four years on the track team. He was elected captain of the track team his senior year. He was a star burglar. After graduation from K College, he went on to the University of Michigan, where he got his dental degree. He <clears throat> came back to Galesburg and took over a dental practice. And then in 1955, he was called up to active duty in the Army. He ended up in uh, Fort, Fort Bliss, Texas, for two years. Um, Found out that while he was at Fort Bliss, he was entered in a uh, handball champion for competition. Ended up in the championship match and defeated a guy by the name of George Blanda. And if you don't know who he is, he went on to be a pro football player, played for the Chicago Cardinals, uh, St. Louis Browns, uh, Houston. Texans and the AFL, and finally ended up with the Oakland Raiders, um, who retired from football at the age of 48, so he's quite an athlete. Um, he's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, so Doc has the uh, honor of having beaten him. After his uh, tour of duty, he returned to Galesburg and took up his practice again. He stayed active in athletics, coaching uh, or assistant coaching with football and with track. Uh, I think the 67 track team won the KVA. I think it's the only time we've ever won a, a track championship. He was instrumental in, in getting new tennis courts built on Lake Street. And uh, then in 1969-70, was instrumental in getting the uh, ball rolling on the new football field, which is now Masco Field. Continued to be active in athletics. Um, he loved canoeing. Just about every weekend in the summer, he would be off somewhere in a canoe race, usually with his sons or selected uh, athletes from GA. I know uh, Dan Overcamp uh, canoed with him, and Doug Becker, and uh, Kevin Austin, and uh, they were very, very successful. Uh, they kind of had a stranglehold on the Greater Galesburg Day Canoe Race for quite a while. In his later years, Doc was even into uh, Ironman competitions, and uh, so, Quite a guy. At this time, I'd like to have Ron Smith come up to accept his award, and Tom Smith.
I just want to say a couple of words about my dad. I wish he was here to say it myself, but uh, I'll do my best to accept the honor in his name. For those of you who knew him, he was a very simple man on the outside and very complex on the inside. He wouldn't have said much, so therefore I'm going to attempt to keep it short too. Whenever he decided to do something, he was definitely all in, whether it was playing cards, playing pool with his buddies, especially canoe racing, the fire department, dentistry, and especially in the sports field. Soon after Coach Maskell's arrival, he was definitely all in and behind him and everything. He didn't always have to say much, you could just see it in his actions. In fact, I didn't know myself that he was captain of the track in the college or undefeated in basketball senior year in high school. I always knew he was a great athlete and person too because it just came out of him and everything he did without saying anything. If it weren't for Dale Martin's research, I still didn't know. So on my half of my dad and best friend, Doc, I am humbly accept this honor in his name. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In times, time, time did. Is that one?